So we have my snapping noise, snapping sound effects, as well as this, my little wreath. This isn't a wreath. What is this? Christmas wreath? Whoa. I would start this video over, but I'm sick and tired of doing that. Today's been a day, and I cannot seem to film a video. But right, this scarf. We're going to call it a scarf. Okay. Or like a lei, like from Hawaii. Right, so I am not going to be wearing this throughout the video, even though it's tempting. And there goes my hair, now even a bigger mess than it previously was. But right, so I am dressed for the occasion. I am in the spirit. We are going to be talking about the green stuff. At least our currency here in the U.S. is green for the most part, aside from coins and other things and stuff. <coughs> Well, I like inhaled saliva <coughs> really, really awkwardly. <coughs> I'm glad that we caught that on camera. But right, so, <clears throat> dress for the occasion in the spirit because it's green. And moolah is green. And so, that's why we have this, my, like, ex-job, ex-work shirt, Masters of Our Domain, dough, like, money's the dough. So it's like a pun on a pun because Kurt Harvest is a bakery and Domain can also be like a place and yeah, but now it's also money and the shirt is also green. But right, why is this intro even an intro? Why is it a thing? Okay, so right, I want to discuss with you guys a topic, an interesting one, a different one. And it's finances, it's money, it's currency, whatever. So it's like money saving tips, tips and tricks, that type of thing. And so let's just go. I do have notes on how to save money. I've been adding to these notes these past few days. I started these notes these past few days. And, well, whatever. <laughs> because I'm making perfect sense, right? And is there a back? No, there's not a back. So we are only facing one side, one piece of paper. So it's not going to be that intense. Don't worry, it won't be a never-ending video like my other ones, hopefully. But, okay. So, let's keep to the notes. Let's do this. So I'm no expert, and I'm not the best example of this. I'm going to try my best. This is really important. It's really important to save money. You should be saving more than you're spending. Try not to go in debt. And, right, back to the notes. Because that could start a ramble. And then I would never end. So, we're going to go to two things first. Two things first. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Okay, thing one of these two things. This is a personal finances book for self-reliance. And this is what my church came out with, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, slash LDS, slash Mormon. And this is very, very cool. It was free through my church. I don't know if it would be free to you guys, if you're interested at all. It's just really interesting to me. And, oh yeah, I just thought of something. My nails are also green, because green, money, video, money, whatever. But right, so... It's really cool. I have just tons of notes. You guys can probably tell. And I started a budget. I have it in here. It's a disaster. It's a hot mess. But I'm just keeping track of my purchases, kind of like a receipt. And it just really, really helps. So there's all of these tools and tips and tricks and challenges and journal keeping and money keeping and stories, experiences, etc. So it's really, really handy. It's really, really cool. And there's another finance book while talking about this one. I'm reminded of one that I gave my parents for Christmas, the Christmas that we just had. And that was by, who's that money guy? Um, it'll probably come to me later in the video, but anyway, we're just going to go on. I'll put them in the comments down below. I'll 
figure out who he is if I don't by the time that video is over. Okay, so do, 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 do. let's go here. Okay, so I found these two ideas on Pinterest. So we have thing one and the next page thing two. So I'm just going to read it off to you and then explain. So happiness in things, question mark, exclamation mark, crossed out, no. Stop spending your money on stupid shiz. That's a Z, not a T, but insert the bad word here. That does not say that on here. I just said that. Okay, so goal, what? I sounded like, it sounded like I was saying goal, but I mean, that works too. Go one whole spend free month. And then we have all of these days. This is to represent a month, and it just goes down like a little snake. So love people, use stuff. Not the other way around. Don't use people and love stuff. I guess that's pretty obvious. So now do it again. So you just keep on going. You try to spend less and less. You try to go spend free once a month. What? <laughs> Guys, oh, this is going to get a lot of thumbs down, but no, so spend free, you just kind of like have to build up to it. You go from spending less to a long stretch of no spending to eventually, hopefully, a whole month of not a single purchase. Obviously, you have the most important things. There's like car, there's electric, electricity there's school, there's loans, etc. stuff like that. So remember eating out, that's expensive and unhealthy. You have enough blank, you don't need another blank, you can buy a blank later. All this blank is like swearing, no, just kidding. Being bored is not an excuse, having more stuff will not make you more happy. Ask yourself, is this blank worth taking from my future? Instant gratification usually does not lead to long-term happiness. Your bank account cries, Think, try thinking about someone else's feelings for a change, geez. And that's in regards to your poor, innocent little bank account. So memories, not things. So do you want to buy a trip which will offer you experience, opportunity, memory, stuff like that? Or do you want to buy this and that and the next thing? And this is a message to me because... Shopaholic me comes to hang out sometimes and it's inside of me and it likes to explode randomly and I'll find myself looking for things, buying things I don't need, buying things that don't really matter and it can be on and off, it can be dry spells and then it can be whatever for too long and this is getting very rambly. But right, back to this. Okay, and then the next page here I have in my little sketchbook, which is not a sketch on this page. Save the monies. $5 bill challenge. We're going to get to that. So every $5 bill you get goes in the $5 box, which I have and which I will show you. Never use change. Only pay with bills. Put change in mug. That's what I do. And then save $1,000 cross off one per week. And this is for the future. This is impossible for me right now just because I am a student and I'm paying as I go. I'm paying myself, paying my way through school. And that's one thing. And then 12 month money challenge and then you have save 1,000 in three months. So there's all of these ideas like January you could do 25 bucks. February you add $50 and then you just keep going so on. And basically that. So there is an idea for you. If you guys can see that. Not too sure. Anyway, so Pinterest has some great ideas. Did I say that? Was I pronouncing that correctly? Pinterest has some great ideas and I would definitely say to go check it out. Go in the search bar, type in money, finances, money help, finance help, whatever, and you will not regret it. I know I don't. I'm thinking long term, or at least I'm trying to now. I'm thinking like retirement fund, hopefully soon. Maybe I'll have to wait. I just know that 
it will add up fast and it will build and it will grow and you will be blessed for it and you will be very grateful that you thought to do that on the same side rather than be on the late train. Okay, I'm probably at like 10 minutes, maybe even 20. I can't see. I still can't see. <laughs> oh, okay, 10. Pretty good with the numbers, not math, but I mean, you can guess the time. Okay, so we got the finance class, talked about that. That was the book. I took a finance class, got the book for that class. And then we talked about Pinterest and my sketchbook, those examples. So now we have the money chain, the $5 box, and the envelope system. So this was what I called a wreath, which is not true. It's not very accurate of me. And I can actually take off three little links. I'll probably take off this side because I like the red, pink at the top. So one, there's that. Two, there's that. Looks like the little CBRC mugs, well, cups. That's my gym, CBRC. Just the colors, I don't know. And then three. So these three, I'll probably keep these in a box just so that I can admire them and be proud of myself. Like, oh, I was able to rip these off of the big old link, the big chain. So, probably just throw it away. I don't know, use it for later, whatever. Okay, so I want to go on an ILP adventure and we will get to the envelope system in just a little bit. So ILP, International Language Program, ILP. This is where you go abroad, you go somewhere, different country, different continent, and you teach English to children and or adults. And long story short, that's what I want to do. And I hope to do that before I graduate, so hopefully perhaps within the next three years. And I need just under $3,000 because I do want to have extra just as a cushion, just as a safety net. Just kind of like a precaution type thing. And plus, just to bring a few things back, like trip treasures, if you will. And I want to get that extra few hundred dollars. So, very excited for this program. And I really want to make this dream of mine come true. So this... I was inspired to do this. I was really impressed to make this in honor of my ILP hopes and dreams. And so it was a lot of fun to make. It's very taxing. You just need paper, like construction paper. Mine's white. And you can make it all cutesy. You can just like color it in. I just did scribbles of different colors, like four different colors per link. And I have 30 of these. And I want $3,000. So that means these three that I took off, that I showed you, they are equivalent to $300. The last time I checked my bank account specifically for ILP, for the program I'm interested in, there was $300, I think just a little bit over in there. And so it's growing slowly but surely and I want to make this happen, and seeing this every day on my wall, right by my bed, that is going to be a big help. So I'll hang this back up, and hopefully we see it shrink and shrink and shrink until it is gone and thrown away. Okay, so that there was the money chain thing. Now the $5 box. So mine, sad but true, sadly enough, it is empty, okay? And that is because I have not started the $5 box. This is why this is a lesson for me, too. I need to look back at this video. I need to do my homework. I need to mentally prepare myself for, hey, Emily, you need to save your money. You need to start now. You need to be better about this. This is really, really important. And this will be, hopefully soon, starting to overflow and explode with $5 bills. So it's just like how it sounds. It's a $5 bill, $5 box. So you just take every $5 bill that you obtain, that you collect, so every paycheck, every pay period, you cash your money out, 
whatever you see, oh hey, guess what? I have all these $5 bills. What am I going to do with them? I'm not going to spend them on random things and stuff. I'm going to save them. Then when your box get, gets full, whatever size yours may be, you can do honestly whatever you want. You can put it towards your free time, your whatever, your activities, the things you're interested in, your hobbies, like a dinner date, or a movie night, or lunch, drinks, etc. So stuff like that. I feel like I've said etc. a lot. I just really like that word right now. I'm in a word pit. But right, so this is just a cutesy little box. You can decorate yours. This was already all cute. I didn't have to do anything to it. It's just a little gift box. Pink, colorful florals. You can get really fun and creative. I think when you spend time on something, when you make it your own, when you make it pleasing to the eye and all pretty and fancy or what have you, I think you enjoy that thing more. And especially for something like this, I really truly believe that because you see it every day, you need to like it. You need to like what you see and it is a visual aid and that will really help you in um, in your goal. Okay, so that just started there guys. This video is not my best. Okay, so that was the $5 box and now the envelope system. So you did get a little hint as to what I mean by envelope system. So, here's ILP, and I'll just go over my envelopes real fast. Of course, I'm going to be adding on to these, and there's going to be a lot more where this came from. So, we have Disney, like a Disneyland trip or whatever. Shopping, food, drinks, car, housing, retirement. That was what I was talking about earlier. Hair, tats and piercings, want them, don't have them. Trips, groceries, pets and gifts and after book money. I'm going to be writing books, I already have started, and that's like my hopes and dreams after I get my books out there for the world to read. So anyway, some of these envelopes, they have things in them and sadly they do not have any money in them just because I'm fairly new at this. And I just felt inspired to make this video for both you guys as well as myself. And it's really teaching me the importance of what we are talking about today, which is money. So right, the things I have in here, for example, like Disney, there's just a little note card of things that I'm interested in buying this next time that I go, just in a few months actually. And then if you go further into the envelopes, you see that there's something in pets and that's just a little bit of ferret information because I was wanting a ferret a while ago and I'm still interested. So I have this from, it's Petco, just a little info thing about ferrets. And then I have all of these names and cost stuff. Okay, so right. So these envelopes, they are just ideas right now. IOP doesn't really apply, well a lot of these things won't really be too applicable to you and they're not even really all that applicable to me right now just because some things like this, tats and piercings, I honestly can't do that. I'm living at home, I'm going to a church school and then there's other things too like pets, there's my dog, we already have him, I didn't have to buy him. So this is for the future, certain things are for the future. So that just helps you to really organize your things and you cannot take the money out and use it towards anything else. That's the goal. That's what's supposed to happen, hopefully. So we got $5 box, we got envelope system. And then obviously there's your bank account. I have this mini little baby one. And when I go out and about, when I leave my house, when I take my purse, when I go wherever, I will take some money out of here and I will stuff it in my bag, put it in my wallet, and the rest of it will stay in here. Hopefully at least some stays in here. I need to be better about that. I also need to get paid. I'm still waiting on two paychecks. My job is crazy. The process is crazy. and 
it's like they're behind or whatever. So what I should do is threaten to quit if I don't get paid soon. No, just kidding, that's terrible. I would probably get fired and put in jail, no. But they could, and I could sue, but no. Okay, so right, just a little Nike box, little kid shoes, really cute, and I just have mini bank account on here. Cute little name, again, you need to make it really exciting and pleasing to the eye. Just an idea, obviously it's not a have to, but I just thought that those would be some good ideas. So we got the chain, we got the $5 box, we got the envelopes, so stuff like that. Okay, so just to wrap this up, I'm going to briefly go over these notes, the rest of the notes, that is. Okay, so try most money you earn and go straight into savings. No, wait. Okay, so try this. Most of the money you earn should go straight into your savings. So... That's just like how it sounds. I can't really go more in depth than that. Have multiple jobs. So an example of that, I was a nanny for a time previously before the job I have now and before my boss got married. And I was also doing lawns on top of that. But my makeup's all crazy. This happens in every video. It's like I can feel it smearing and smudging. But right, okay, so I was also mowing lawns. So nannying and lawn mowing and then there's the job I have right now as a home care aide and I would be mowing in addition to that starting in these next few months however we sold our trailer and we are ready to move from that job onto another family business idea so that really helps it will bring in more income it will really help you out so pay as you go through school and that means no loans. That's what I'm doing right now. However, I am sadly enough going to have to take out student loans simply because we cannot continue mowing lawns together as a family or in general just for time and because we're going to be moving and we just can't take all that with us in our new area because of our new life starting and different things are going to be happening, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so spend less, save more. To put it simply, spend less, save more. Like, it's really obvious. Make a list of your purchases like a receipt. And that's what I do. I just keep a little piece of paper in my personal finance book, the one that I showed you. And I think that really helps. You can look back and see where is most of my money going? What am I buying too much of? What should I be doing? Do I need to change? And also keep your receipts. And I have mine in a bag here. Actually, I have to show you one other thing after this thing. Okay. So this is ridiculous. And it's a little strange. But I just keep my receipts in a Ziploc bag. And there is a hanger in there. Yes, that was for my sister-in-law. Anyway, so... I think this really helps. I personally hate doing returns. My dad does too. And okay. <laughs> and my mom just loves them. She likes to get it done. She likes to get her money back. She likes to say goodbye to things. But it's just really hard for me. I feel bad and I get too attached to the item. Even if it doesn't really work out, it's bad but I need to be better about that. So I've been trying to keep my receipts and then every few months I'll go through them, I'll throw some away, whatever. We'll shred them. And so what else? Oh, the other thing I was going to show you. Okay. And I talked about this towards the beginning of the video. So I have this cute little mug. We got these little lipsticks, lips, whatever golden handle. It's a cute little mug and I just have money in here. This right now in here, what do we have here? Probably equivalent, how's it go? <laughs> equivalent to a few dollars I would say. So I never use change when I buy things. When I'm purchasing something, anything, I use bills and only bills and I like to break it down. I like to break down big bills. And I think that really helps. My change gets plopped in there and I wait until it's like halfway full to almost full 
and then I'll like cash it out. My parents will kind of like do a little trade. My mom loves change and I hate it, so it's kind of perfect. It works out. So I think that's an idea too. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I didn't know all of the definitions, the names, the terms of everything. I mean, I just call them like the chain link thing or the money chain or whatever. Okay. And also, I found some random shiz on the internet. So there's this website. I have the name of it somewhere on here. Uh -uh um. Oh, right. Smartaboutmoney.org or SAM. So be smart about money. So think to yourself, ask yourself, should I buy this? Maybe make a list or map of reasons why you should or should not buy it. And think and ask yourself, can you comfortably afford it? If the answer is no, then don't purchase. And I really need to hear that myself. So buyer's remorse, anyone? Raise hand, use the definition, the definition, the decision map and think it through before you buy. So make a pros and cons list, a visual aid, whatever. This will really help you to control your spending. And I think that is huge as well. And it will really save you. I mean, I don't really necessarily have a map of things and I've seen that like, should I buy this? And then it will take you down an arrow and then go on to say, yes or no, and then it will go to another arrow and then say why, and here's why, here's why not, blah, blah, blah. So I've never done that myself. I just prefer to list out the things that I have, but I need to really include this and incorporate this in my life just because I think it would really help. Like if I print out or write down some things like, like this, like, Okay, why should I buy this? Should I not? And it can be very broad, very general. And what else? Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so thrifting is something I need to work on, honestly. You guys have probably seen that in my videos. You've probably seen a little bit too much of that. So I really need to work on that part of my life and right this video was all over the place it was probably a little bit weird or a lot of it weird and right i was probably a lot of it weird not even a little bit i know it was a lot of it weird <laughs> more than the usual more than average weird emily okay so i think i'm gonna get going i don't know if this video was what you expected what you hoped for I feel like with me, I don't know, I'm almost like disappointed with myself because, I don't know, I feel like I'm leaving things out, but I really can't think of anything else. I'm just being hard on myself today. Today's been like, tomorrow will be better though. I hope your day is better than mine. I don't know, just been an off day, but this isn't a vlog. We don't have to talk about feelings. We are only talking about money right now. Well, not right now because I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, so I will see you when I do. Have a good rest of your day. Enjoy things and stuff, but not too much because you need to save your money. <laughs> Very smooth, Emily. Emily. Okay, this means I have to go. Okay, bye.